Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try to find the inverse of the two given functions. We'll start off with some relatively easy ones. But again, remember how to do that. First, what we take, we take the function and write it in the form y equals 1 minus 2 over x. So we replace the f of x by y. And then we interchange. The y becomes x and the x becomes y. So this we, we now write x equals 1 minus 2 over x. Oh, oh, not over x, over y. Because I'm changing the x to a y and the y to an x. Now, we solve that equation for y. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move, let's see, what can we do? We'll move this over the other side, so we have x minus 1 is equal to minus 2 over y. And then we use the cross product. We bring the y over here and the x minus 1 down there. So we move across the diagonal so we can write that y is equal to minus 2 divided by x minus 1. But in other words, we multiply both sides by y and we divide both sides by x minus 1. So if you want to see what that looks like, so in this case, we multiply the right side by y over x minus 1 and we multiply the left side by y over x minus 1. But essentially what we did was we moved the y across the diagonal to the left side and we moved the x minus 1 down across the diagonal. So that's the essence of what we're doing. And now that we have y equals minus 2 uh, x minus over x minus 1, now we can say that f negative 1 of x, in other words the inverse of the function f of x, is equal to negative 2 over x minus 1. And that is how we find the inverse of that function. So we do the same over here. Again, we first write it as y equals x squared minus 1. And then we replace every y, we turn into an x, and every x into a y. So this is x equals y squared minus 1. Then we move the minus 1 across. We have x plus 1 equals y squared or y squared equals x plus 1. And now we take the square root of both sides, so y is equal to the square root of x plus 1. And then we can say that this is the inverse, so the inverse of the function is equal to the square root of x plus 1. And that is how we find the inverse of those two examples. Not too bad, as long as we follow the procedure as it was given to us. Now, again, notice that if y is equal to x squared plus 1, uh, minus 1 doesn't mean that this is true. This is simply going through the process of the x becoming a y and all the y becoming an x. Otherwise, that of course wouldn't be true. The same thing over here. What we do here is we go from here to there to there by saying every x becomes a y and every y becomes an x. Otherwise, of course, it wouldn't be correct. And that is how it's done.